Hello Magical Butterflies, this is Xtina with Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope this finds you having a magical day, night or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, subscription to the channel, and for viewing my videos. To book a personal reading, a live one-on-one -on -one session, program, or to join my Divine Butterfly Membership Group Level 1 or Level 2, go to ButterflyIntuition.com to book to join. The link to my website, along with my full list of services and all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube, are in the description box below. Welcome to your Vision Intuition Monthly Forecast reading. This is going to be for July 2022. This will be a general collective reading, so take only what speaks directly to your soul, and what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it, and let it fly. So first I'm going to get some opening messages for you from Spirit, just what you need to know for the month of July 2022. What are the opening messages for the collective? What does the collective need to know when it comes to the month of July? the month of July may bring, what the energy may be, what would you like the collective to know for the month of July? Okay, you have cleanse your soul and cleanse your mind. So this card is showing me that the month of July is going to bring in the energy of refreshment. Something is being refreshed, reset. If you have been working on closing a cycle, a karmic connection, a karmic relationship, or just a karmic cycle in general, you have really put out into the universe that you want this to end. And now it is time to cleanse it from your mind. I'm really just feeling if you stay focused in the present moment and you don't allow the memories or the fears or the triggers from the past to come into your mind or to start daydreaming or wondering about the future, not allowing your mind to wander is what I'm feeling. And this is resonating with me because I posted on my Instagram today, July 2nd is when I'm recording this that I'm doing a challenge for this month where I'm going to stay focused in the present moment and I'm not going to allow my mind to wander. I'm just going to live in the present moment so I can get things done. So when you do that, if you're interested, go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at butterflyintuition.com. This is my Instagram handle. This is the only Instagram account I have. And if you stay in the present moment, you don't worry about the past and you don't worry about the future because worry is a wasted emotion. And the way you can cleanse your soul and cleanse your mind is believing that anything can be yours. That whatever you're wanting, whatever you're dreaming about, doesn't matter what it is, you have to believe it's yours. It's law of attraction. You ask for it, you believe it's here, and you receive it. But the key to receiving is to believing it's already here and believing you are worthy of receiving it. And that is something that I'm learning and I'm starting to understand about the law of attraction is that you have to be open to receiving because that's where cleanse your soul, cleanse your mind comes in. You have to be open to receiving it. And being open to receiving it and believing it can be yours leads to you being able to trust. Trust the process trust the universe, trust your intuition, and to trust that whatever you're trying to manifest, whether it is a divine love connection, a new job, a new home, more money, whatever it is, whether it's big or small, doesn't matter, whatever you're wanting to bring into your existence in your 3D world, you have to trust. And you have to fly high. Feathers could be something you're seeing at this time. Feathers are always a sign from our angels that we're on the right path. Birds could be around you at this time. Birds are telling you to fly high, to fly free. And 
You are being guided this month to ask for what you want. So when you ask for what you want, you set an intention. You tell the universe, this is what I want. This is what I would like to have. And if something is a vibrational match to you, it will come in. But it's a matter of being open and receiving to it. So law of attraction is something that could work for you. It's a tool that anyone can use. There are so many different methods. The method I like is by Esther and Jerry Hicks, the teachings of Abraham, the secret works. It's just whatever you're open to reading or listening to. And you have to remember for this month of July that the answers you seek are always within. So solar plexus chakra energy is coming through. So solar plexus is the middle chakra and that chakra is telling you that there's something suppressed. There are suppressed emotions that maybe have come up to the surface and that's what you are releasing and now you're being told to not allow those feelings to come back by cleansing your soul and cleansing your mind. Or maybe you need to do that in order to have those feelings come up. So whenever we need an answer to something, we always have the answer within us. But it's a matter of us being open and receptive to that answer coming. So really just trust that you are the portal to gaining the clarity and guidance and taking that action step. And the way you can do that this month is to release your past once and for all. The past is the past. The past has no bearings in the present. The past does not serve you now. It cannot be changed. It cannot be revisited. It just needs to be put in that suitcase that you see on the card and become the magician the magician card in tarot, which is the manifester, to manifest something new. And have unconditional love for yourself at this time. Archangel Shamuel is coming through with the energy to really just love yourself. So when you work on the solar plexus chakra, if you find your chakra is blocked or closed, or maybe just a little imbalance, you can do solar plexus chakra meditations or guided meditations to help you clear it doing Reiki, even doing sound bowls, pulling cards, just whatever works for you when it comes to the chakras. Um, really just know that when you have unconditional love for yourself, that is when you'll be able to cleanse your soul, to cleanse your mind, and to help you release your past so you can ask for what you want, put out into the universe what you want, and you're able to call it in. So a very beautiful and powerful message has come through for the opening message for July. So next we're going to look into the overall energy for the collective. So this will be the overall energy on just how the collective is feeling, just what is being put out into the universe for the month of July. And this can be at any point in the month of July or whenever you're watching this, if you're watching this after July 2022. So just remember, my readings are intended to be timeless. So what is the overall energy for the collective for the month of July? Overall energy for the collective for the month of July. So we have the butterfly of successful outcomes. So there is a feeling of a successful outcome coming. So the crystal jade is the color green. So I'm just feeling green is the heart chakra. I'm feeling something you love or something you want to come into love is coming. There's a celebration. There's good news. There's bright prospects that are coming. And spirit is just telling you to be open to it and to really be open to the outcome. So for example, if you're feeling love is coming in, don't get attached to a person. Don't get attached to an outcome of how this person's going to come in, how you're going to have your first date. Just allow it to happen. Spirit is just telling you they want to bring you this good news. There's a lot of bright prospects for you, but they want you to be open to celebrating it because you have completed a very um, tedious cycle and Lapis Lazuli is the butterfly of soul lessons. So you have learned a valuable lesson on your journey. You have 
gone through a spiritual growth, a spiritual awakening. You could have aligned to your life purpose or you're doing that now and you're trusting that there is a divine plan for you. So you could be gaining a new perspective in the month of July or you have this new perspective and you're going to carry that into the month of July. And when I said that, the timer was on 10-11. So 10-11 could be a number you're seeing. It could be a birthday. Just take it if it speaks to you. And you are a little bit more trusting in divine timing. You're starting to understand that when you let go and you let spirit take the wheel, you allow the cycles that you have closed to completely close and to go away. You learn to have patience and you come into alignment with what is meant for you. And by coming into alignment with what is meant for you, you then open the door to receiving what is meant for you. And see, can't make this up. You become the butterfly of perfect alignment with rainbow fluorite. So rainbow fluorite is actually a crystal I have on my desk. This is the crystal I have. It's very beautiful. And it has a butterfly on it. So this butterfly is showing me that you have transformation, that you have restored balance into your energy this month. So that's amazing. You are in harmony. You are in sync. And there is a coming together. So I really just feel I'm hearing a baby cry. So if you have been trying to have a baby or maybe you're going to start to think about having babies or maybe I'm even hearing somebody should be thinking about freezing their eggs if you don't have a partner in your life or you just want to do that as a backup plan in case um, conceiving the natural way doesn't work. I'm hearing wedding bells. So there could be a proposal coming or you could meet the person you're going to marry if the two of you have not yet met. Um, I'm also hearing someone from the past could be coming back. Um, that's not going to be for everybody, but there are people in my collective who are going to reconnect with someone from the past, or you could be letting go of someone from the past energetically, and that is setting the stage and setting the tone for this new person to come in. So I really just feel the energy this month is when you are completely release the outcome, expectations, attachments, you remember the lessons you learned, you trust in divine timing, you then align your energy to the perfect alignment to what the universe wants to give you. And what the universe wants to give you is the butterfly of completion and endings with smoky quartz. They want to give you a resolution. They want to give you a cleansing. They want to cleanse your soul, cleanse your mind, and they want to give you a rebirth, a new beginning. They just want you to know that your hard work has paid off and you're going to be rewarded. So next I'm going to get into the head and heart space for the collective for the month of July. So what is the current head space? What is the current heart space for the collective for the month of July? What are they thinking? What are they feeling this month? Current head space, current heart space for the collective for the month of July. You have the five of spirals. So spirals represents the wands. So we have the five of wands. So there is a inner conflict that is going on in your head. So I'm really just feeling cleanse your soul, cleanse your mind will help you release this inner conflict. Because what this inner conflict is doing, it's causing you to remain solo. It's causing you to remain single. So stones represents the pentacles in traditional tarot. So this could be significant if you are an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This inner conflict in your head, this reliving something or getting angry about something from the past is causing you to not allow something new to come in. So you want something new to come in. You want something new and fresh to come in. So with the world card, you want to get your head space more into the world energy, which is a new beginning and trusting that this new cycle is here. And you may need to get a little more aligned to your heart space because 
The King of Spirals, which is the King of Wands, is showing me when you get into that Wands energy of confidence, leadership, and following your passion, you find that you can clear things a lot more easily. And it gets you out of this Two of Scrolls energy, which is the Two of Swords. And you get out of that stalemate and indecision. You take the blindfold off and you see things very clearly. So I just feel there's a block that just really needs to be let go of. And that's going to help you get into the Queen of Spirals, which is the Queen of Wands. You want to get into the Queen of Wands or the King of Wands, depending if you're masculine or feminine energy. Or maybe you just need a combination of both to just get that yin and yang balance in. And what that honestly is going to do for you, it's going to bring in the Ace of Mirrors, which is the Ace of Cups. You're going to have an offer come in. This is a love offer, or you're just going to open your heart space to loving what you see in the mirror and really just having a newfound freedom for what is to come. Because the Ace of Spirals, which is the Ace of Wands, is telling you, especially if you're in Aries, Feathers are telling you you're on the right path. Feathers are telling you don't get off this path. Don't resist it. Don't hate on something. Align to it. And it will show you something new. So that is the head and heart space for the collective. Next, we're going to get into what spirit wants you to know for the month of July. So I'm going to pull three cards, one for the beginning of the month, one for the middle of the month, and one for the end of the month. So what do you want the collective to know for the month of July? We'll start with the beginning of July. What would you like the collective to know for the month of July? You have the moon, number 18, which equals the nine, imagination, perception. So the beginning of the month, a lot of things are going to be illuminated to you. This is going to be from July 1st until we go to the full moon in Capricorn, I think. Let me see. I think Capricorn is the next full moon. Yes, it is. Full moon in Capricorn that is happening around July 13th. You are going to have a new perception and you're going to get into your imagination to be able to create and to be able to bring in something new. The owl shows me that you have the wisdom, that you have learned the lessons, and it is time to move forward. When you take a step forward and then you get pulled back by something from the past or someone who's not in alignment to your energy, you you just you literally started building the house of cards and it crumbles. So spirit is telling you it is time to see that this new perception you have may not align with anyone and those who do not align to that you are going to be turned off by their energy that has been coming through for the collective for the last few months and now you're starting to see that you have to move forward. That you have to get on with your life. You have something beautiful waiting for you on the other side. But you're not going towards it because you're allowing things from the past or people from the past to derail you because they don't have the courage or they don't have the willpower to be able to move forward. So after the full moon in Capricorn, we have the page of shells. So the page of shells is about intuition and inspiration. So pages are also messengers. They're also very young, playful energy. The frog could be significant if you have a frog as a spirit totem, or I'm even hearing when you kiss a frog, he turns into a prince. So you could be having a love interest message you. Spirit is just going to tell you when this message comes in to really listen to your intuition and you will be inspired and you will know what to say to this person. Because by the end of July, the wheel shows me a new beginning there will be a big change in your life. So for some of you, you could meet someone that you start dating. There will be many possibilities. You could even get a new job. It's going to be different for everyone. Octopus could be significant if you resonate with an octopus. But an octopus has eight 
arms and so you're just going to have many different options many different possibilities that's really what i'm seeing with the octopus and i'm really drawn to the little mark on the octopus's forehead so your intuition that you're getting with the page of shells is going to help this wheel of fortune move forward so next i'm going to bring you guidance so i have a few guidance decks i'm going to use so we'll start with the first deck going to be using the Rose Oracle. I just felt a couple decks with roses on them. And then I have two little chakra decks I'm going to use for final guidance. So we'll start with the Rose Oracle. This deck is by Rebecca Campbell and it is a very beautiful deck and I don't use it that often. I kind of moved my stuff around yesterday and I'm like, I have to start using these decks. So this is one of the ones I told myself I would use. And it just called out to me today when I was preparing for this reading. So this, this deck is going to have messages for you. So we have the sacred union. Beloved within inner and outer relationships. So this card is a reminder that when you have sacred union with yourself, when you are completely at peace with being single, being alone, being with yourself, you have a relationship with yourself, and that is when you call in a divine love counterpart. And this divine love counterpart is coming in as the sacred waters. With nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, and self-care, this sacred union of self is bringing in a very beautiful and very emotional love counterpart. This is someone who has mastered their emotions. This is someone who is ready to do the work and do the thing with you. And the lineage of the rose is telling me, moved by the goddess, here for this soul call, gather. So listen to your ancestors, listen to the call of your soul, and listen to what your soul is telling you, because your soul is giving you the messages and downloads that you need. So let's look into that. Let's just see what your soul, your intuition is trying to tell you, in case you're not sure or you're just not hearing it. What is the collective's intuition soul telling them? Okay, so I have two cards that want to come through. So we will start with the citizen. So the citizen is number 37, and it equals a 10. So 10 is about something new. So this card, the meaning of this card is, what are you doing in keeping with the direction and outcome you want to achieve? So that's something you need to ask yourself. You have a direction you want to go in. You have a desired outcome. Doesn't matter what it is. How do you want to achieve it? It's you set a goal like, I want love. But what are you doing to bring in love? How are you putting yourself out there? You don't have to physically put yourself out there, you know, like going on dating sites if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Doing speed dating or going to singles bar. Sometimes all you need to do is just put the energy out. And it just comes to you as it's supposed to. Because sometimes love comes looking when you're, not, when you're not expecting it. And if you're not putting it out, what would you need to change for you to better align with the energies to achieve balance and success? So if you're not doing anything, how can you do it? Trust me, the answer will come. I literally had this answered for me yesterday spirit kept pushing me to do to do something and I didn't do it I finally did it yesterday and I was very unsure I was very scared but today I woke up knowing I did the right thing and we have the innovator so the innovator is telling you that 40 uh, with number actually a number six is really coming through hot so that number could be telling you something but this card is telling you that action needs to be undertaken now before the plans of others take over. So you don't want to miss out on something. So you want to take a chance. You want to take a risk. Because if Spirit's handing you a rose in love and you don't take it, they're going to go, okay, you don't want it, so I'm going to give this rose to somebody else that does. So Spirit's telling you don't, don't sit on it. Don't wait on it. You're, if you're wanting to call in love, you have to align yourself with calling in your hero or your heroine. You want to be able to have this beautiful yellow rose come in. Yellow is the color of the sun. It is also the color of the solar plexus chakra. So if you are having solar plexus chakra issues, 
it's really time to open that. And you may want to look at the sacral chakra too, because the sacral chakra, the heart chakra, and the solar plexus are all connected when it comes to getting creative on how you can call in divine love. So the final two decks I'm using are for chakras. So I'm going to pull two cards from each deck to bring you your final guidance. So what final chakra guidance do you have for the collective when it comes to the month of July? have the cards. So we will start with number six, cosmic change. Feel the total, the total, the total, I can't say that word, of the cosmos within you, above you, around you, and beneath you. There is a fountain of light that circulates through the soles of your feet, up to your crown and back again, healing you, grounding you, connecting you to all that you are, and all that is. You are worthy of this divine flow of healing light, and you are a channel of it as well. You are always in the embrace of the all. Rest in that knowing. This is the earth star chakra, which is part of the chakras that are above the seven main chakras. Crystal stone is brookite, and the herb is frankincense resin. So it's time to embrace this cosmic change, this big shift in your energy, and it's time to speak your truth. It's time to get real and honest with yourself, with not just yourself, but with others, with the universe. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to because you have to listen to your heart and you have to speak from your heart. You don't want to speak from your head because sometimes your head space can get clouded with fear and that's when ego comes in and you want to release and empower instead. When you release any stagnant energy and re-energize your spirit to feel more creative, alert, sexually empowered, and full of zest for life. When you do, all the magic and power that exists inside of you will push you forward ahead in the direction your soul and spirit need to go. Ask your spirit guides for help overcoming obstacles, especially those you may not be consciously aware of at this time. Let nothing hold you back. This is the sacral chakra. The crystal is imperial topaz and the herb is fennel. And you have to express yourself. Express your true self. The world needs you. I'm even hearing the song Express Yourself by Madonna. Give that song a listen to because that song has a special message for somebody watching this video. So that is your guidance for the month of July. So next we're going to get into how the month of July may end. So this will be very similar to possible future energy. So remember possible future energy is just that. It's possible future energy. It is never set in stone because energy changes daily and it is dependent on the free will decisions that we make as well as others. How will the month of July end for the collective when it comes to the month of July? So I already had a card fly out. So I will start with that card. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. So a message of love is going to happen by the end of July for some of you. Once this message comes in, the Knight of Wands shows me movement forward very quickly. So I feel someone is going to message you. I feel a date could happen. This could also be somebody offering you a job. But the Seven of Swords shows me that it may be multiple messages. You may have multiple options and you're only going to take with you what you need. So I feel you will be completely in the energy of releasing the past. You could have a King of Pentacles coming in, a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that could be you. But this is a very balanced connection that's coming in, regardless of Zodiac sign. So a very beautiful balanced connection is coming in for love. When it comes for life in general, judgment shows me a successful end of a karmic cycle relationship, anything that you're just trying to release. And it could just be the end of releasing this inner conflict that we saw in the, earlier in the reading. And the Page of Pentacles shows me a very grounded message is going to come. So 
I really just feel you have a lot of messages coming in. Pentacles also represents money, so this could be about jobs or money. But you're going to have a rebirth. That's what the Empress is showing me. And you're going to have the world. So you're going to have this new beginning in love. You're going to have just a new beginning in life because you're going to have that new perspective. So let's get you some angel. Actually, I'm not going to do angel numbers this month. I am going to do um, just two cards from the Shine from the Inside Oracle. That was created by Brittany Carmichael. This is one of my all-time favorite decks. I just felt called to pull two cards from this deck to bring you affirmations, but four cards want to come out, so I'll take those. So you want to believe in yourself and unleash your inner unicorn. Butterflies are telling you transformation is coming and that it's time to turn lemons into lessons. So anything that gets sour this month, turn it into a lesson. And that's when you're going to allow unlimited abundance because you are abundance. And this is bringing you to the, the affirmation, trust your intuition. She's always right. Trust my intuition. I'm always right. And I'm going to close out this reading with some closing messages from Spirit on just what they would like you to know. So this is closing messages for the collective on just what you need to know. So there are two cards that want to come through. We have surrender and in union with myself. So spirit is telling you to surrender to knowing. Surrender to yourself. Give to yourself, love yourself, trust yourself, and just know that you are right where you're supposed to be. And anything that comes up this month that you don't like, it just doesn't resonate with you anymore. Have the strength and the courage to fix it, to become the empress, to have that rebirth and renewal, and to make your new world just as you see it. I do hope this month's Vision Intuition Monthly Forecast has brought you the clarity and guidance that you're looking for. If this resonated, drop a comment below to claim it to let me know how it resonated for you, how the month of July is, is going. And if you have a birthday this month, let me know because I'm a July birthday and I would just like to hear how many people have a July birthday. And of course, I want to wish you a happy birthday to felt my fellow Cancer or if you're a Leo, if you have a birthday at the end of July once we're in Leo season. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Please make sure the bell notification is set so you can be notified when new content is posted on this channel. Have a magical month. And I will talk to you soon.